and push you and say, say, don't don't just go, just don't don't just forget about this. But go this summer and, and, and take a little time and reflect and read over this. Do it, but I never did do it. And I go back and wouldn't remember what I'd learned the year before. I had a teacher in, in, in uh, junior high, and he said, "Son, you need to learn your multiplication tables." And I said, "Yeah, I need to, and I'm, I'm working on that. I know what one times everything else is." Some of y'all get that on slow train tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to fly a hundred times one a day, man. Tell you it's a hundred. But, but I never would learn them. And here I am, 48 years old, and I'll, mo- I'll get right close to 50, and half the time I've got to think in a few minutes. Somebody said, what's, what's, it? what's 12 times 12? Or what's uh, 7 times 9? Or, or, and i got to slow down just a minute and start thinking. Try to get that because I wouldn't learn it. And I wouldn't study it. You say, preacher, now wait a minute, now you run a business and you multi, you have these jobs up and you all that stuff. Yeah, and most of the time, I've got a calculator in my hand. I get out of the truck, grab a pad, grab a pen, and grab a calculator. And I walk over and I'm doing this right here. It's a good thing God gave me a finger and I can yeah. learn what you do with them things. Yeah. Amen. You know why? And I've used this for years to preach, and I'm not proud of it, but I never would learn it. And I still don't hardly know. I thought just a few years ago, I thought I'm going to sit down every night and I'm just going to, I'm going to write them all out and I'm going to sit there and read over them every night so I can get tired from them. Remember, Daddy will click stuff off like that. David will click stuff off like that. They both give me two numbers, look at me, and I just sit there. Because I wouldn't study it and I wouldn't learn it. Now, that applies to us spiritually speaking. Yeah. There's so many things in there in that book that God wants us to study and yeah. wants us to learn, but we won't do it. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Preacher, some of you are doing all right. Mm. <laughs> There's so much in that book that God wishes that we'd learn and wishes that we'd study it and wishes we'd find yeah. it out and see what His Word right. says about things, but we won't do it. We won't take the time out of study. We won't take the time out of bury our head in that book and say, God, show me what you want me to see and what you want me to know about this. And we won't study it so once a year. And God let us go back to school and so the preacher get up and preach on the youngest go back to school and remind us to go back to the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Not only should we go back to the Lord, we should go back uh, to the Bible, but we say right fast, uh, we need to, some folks need to go back to church. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I'll do like Daddy. Yeah. See, Daddy got two fingers. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Go back to church. I was talking to, yeah. uh, was talking, somebody called me this evening. An old lady called me this evening. She asked me how, how church was this morning. I said, it's pretty good. And uh, how many did you have? And I told her, and she said, boy, I said, I really thought, as many folks had promised me they'd be here this morning, I thought we'd have about 60. I'm just, yeah, I'm sure, my, I, there wasn't no doubt in my mind yeah. we'd have 60 this morning. And I honestly didn't even know how many we had until I came back tonight because I, I, didn't, I didn't think about it this morning. It's a pretty good number. Things went good. I didn't think about it, but I thought, more surely to goodness. She, and, I, and I told her that this evening. She said, that, she said, I don't know what's the matter with people in our day that just won't go to church. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's the truth. I said this before and I say it again. The church is the most important place in the community. Amen. Amen. The church, besides the home. Yeah. Besides the home, and God's established the home first, the church is the most important place in the community, and, and it's the least used place that there is. Right. It's like old, old, old uh, Mace Jackson said one time. He said, I told God when I died to bury me down Walmart in the parking lot. And somebody said, why did you want her to marry, marry that partner? He said, I know she visited me two or three times a week. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Man, they, they, in the house of God, you usually got one door I'm going in the front, and you got places like that, got three or four doors to get in. And the church ought to be the most used place, and that is in the community. Amen. Amen. We need to be reminded to get back to church. Get back to mm-hmm. church. Get back to church. Somebody asked me one time, said, son, said, uh, said have you ever done drugs? I said, yeah, I had a drug problem when I was a little boy. He <coughs> said, you had a drug problem? I said, yeah, Dad drug me to church, drug me to church, and drug me to church. <laughs> we went. Bless God, I went. Yeah. We went sometimes when we wasn't even having church, I think. <laughs> we just went. Do you know what that is? It's instilled in me. A desire to be in the house of God. Yeah. A Sunday morning, a Sunday yeah. night, a Wednesday night, revival night, singing night. It don't matter if I'm preaching or ain't preaching. I'm going to be in the house of God somewhere. Yeah. Amen. 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 I was down at the beach the other week and we went to church. And uh, we come out and Karen said, said, boy, that wasn't much, was it? I didn't say that. I was kind of 
Kept, kept it to myself. Apparently, <laughs> Luke, they was going on about, they had read out the right Bible, and they didn't sing the right kind of songs, and they, they both did it. But I said, the thing was, we went to church. We yeah. went for the right mm -hmm. reason. Mm -hmm. Amen. You yeah. got to get folks need to be reminded to get back to church. I let me say real fast, we need to get back to pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Somebody, I said this ten times, and somebody called me today and said, Preacher, I'm praying for you. I said, Boy, I appreciate that, and don't quit. Yeah. We need some folks that just fall on their knees and beg God to move like He, like, like he used to move. Yeah. Amen. He's not changed. He's got as much power as He ever had. He'll yeah. touch His young ones and help them as much as He if we would just pray yeah. and seek His face. Amen. That's the reason I'm pushing this praise yeah. to heart. Mm -hmm. Somebody asked, somebody said to me today, said, said, well, you're trying to push your religion on some people. I said, no, I ain't. They're at the ball game. We're getting ready to pray. Tell them not to bow their head. Tell them not to pray. They don't have to pray. Mm -hmm. Amen. But they, but they don't get them right tell me not to pray. Right. Amen. Hey, some folks that will pray. Mm -hmm. Just get a hold of God. Right. So I'm telling you, and I've been saying this ever since I come up here, and we've seen some things happen. I, a man said to me this morning, when we were out the door, he said, Preacher, said, now we need to have a baptizer pretty quick. I don't want the river to get any colder. Mm -hmm. We've got a few to baptize. Yeah. And, 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 and next Sunday, there's a handful wants to join the church. They asked me to open the doors of the church. Mm -hmm. And we got... I think two families to give the right hand. We got their letters to give the right hand of, of welcome in the church next week. And, and there's a lot going on. But I'm telling you, we've not scratched the surface of what we can do right. if we'll pray. Yeah. If we'll get a hold of God, mm -hmm. get along with God, and beg God to move in our services and move to people's lives and do that that only He can do. Mm -hmm. They say, last of all, we need to get back to worshiping yeah. the Lord. Amen. Just worshiping God. Mm -hmm. getting our hearts and our affections centered on Him and come in the house of God. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes really? it's a little discouraging. Some come and then they don't come. And then, and like I said this morning, I just kind of had it in my mind there'd be a big crowd. And it was and it was a good number. And some had promised to be here was here. But I'm telling you, if we get... And the Lord's ahead of me real good with this. Mm -hmm. If we get in our hearts with what we, the reason we've come for. Yeah. And no matter who's there, who ain't right. there. Amen. I've been in church yeah. several times when they wasn't five or ten people there, and man, God just broke through there, and God began to move, and God began to bless. Mm -hmm. It don't take no crowd yeah. for God to move. Amen. I mean, I like to have a crowd. I was a little bit embarrassed tonight for me and Jessica and all of them to come, and half of them's gone camping, half of them's gone to the beach. This is here, that was there. It kind of bothered me a little bit, but I. Just kind of pushed it to the side and went on about the business. Amen. If we'd realize what we come for, the reason we come, yeah. and we get back to worshiping God. Amen. Amen. I've yeah. seen, man, I've seen them run the aisles. I've seen them jump the pews in here. Yeah. I've seen them jump about that high and scream. Yeah. Hey, I've seen them, I've seen Grandma Carver shout to her hair, come plumb down, yeah. come out that bun, and yeah. fall right down, and yeah. it just be slung around everywhere. <laughs> Amen. I like to see kitties have fly out like that. <laughs> Amen. I like to see. I mean, to me, just be. I like to see somebody. Yeah. I'm telling you, everybody but Ken Brewer. It's hard to do. <laughs> but I'm telling you, we need to get back to worshiping God. Get yeah. Back to that. Amen. Them youngers have went back to school, and it's reminded them, and it's caused them to rehearse some things, and it's caused them to refresh some things. And, 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 and I wanted to use that thought tonight. Well, at least once a year, we're to have a reminding, a refreshing, a, a rehearsing of these things that we know that we need to be back to and we need to have in our life every day. And if we'll get back to them, it's untelling what God will do in our hearts and in our lives. Mm -hmm. Let's stand tonight. Here's about my Heavenly Father, I love you. I thank you for letting us be in your house. Thank you, Lord, for each one of you. I pray you'd use this to encourage us and speak to us. Help us to be that is pleasing to thee. Help us to realize how important it is that we're in this Word of God every day. Help us to realize how important it is that Lord, we're on our knees by begging you to move and to touch hearts and lives and save sinners. I pray, Lord, you guide and direct. Do for that that only you can do. And what you do, I love you and I praise you for it in Jesus' name. Wait for just a minute with heads bowed and eyes closed. You need to come.